So I haven't seen a single good Elgato game capture tutorial video. So I'm going to be here to show you guys how to actually set up, configure this for streaming, and if you have any problems, you can sort them. First thing we're going to go through, audio. Audio has like a lot of fucking weird things because when you go on advanced here, it is input and output. That's what it's controlling, not just input. Uh, people don't realize this, so it can fuck up. So if you've kind of messed around with this, reset to defaults, go back to advanced, find your inputs and find your outputs and turn them all on. For me, inputs are earphone, outputs Elgato and headphones. Once this is on, everything should be good to go and you should be picking up audio here. You can test this by uh, playing anything and you can see it picking up there so uh, the next big problem I had was with displays um, but what do you do with the display settings when you set up the Elgato because it's capturing if you have two monitors it will capture the other monitor uh, rather than yours so what you want to do is I made a quick PowerPoint to show you very nice um, all you do is the problem is obviously you want to just record the display port and you don't want to have to run your display port through an HDMI because then you'll just lose the megahertz the, that you need. So instead of having 144 megahertz, you'll have 60, which is really fucking annoying. Um, so the solution to this, if you want to have two screens as well, is you have screen one as the display port. Then you mirror, you make a like theoretical screen called screen two, mirrored by screen one. So you have this uh, mirroring the actions on screen one. And then screen free is just not mirrored, it's just a normal screen. And then this will set up so that you can have free monitors, uh, all of them, like two of them for this, this uh, for capturing the gameplay and one for like your other stuff like Twitch and YouTube, whatever you want to be on. It's really useful for like streaming and stuff. I'd recommend using it. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna go through is optimization. So uh, go up here, top right settings, capture. Disable enable flashback recording that will be on automatically. Um, this will literally cut your CPU usage in half. Uh, I can't really show you because it won't let me do it whilst I'm recording. But yeah, it will. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, everything I wanted to go through. If you guys have any more questions about Elgato, uh, any more things that people have failed to explain, then let me know. Uh, I've also got a problem with my, myself that I can't figure out at the moment live streaming. I can't live stream to anywhere. Every time I click stream, it says it started streaming, but it just doesn't come up as anything. Uh, if you guys have a solution to that, please help me because I haven't found anything online. Yeah, goodbye.